Hello everyone, this is Dr. Bhavamik Joshi from Aspire MDS and in this video we are going to discuss about some important topics of orthodontics. In this video, we will discuss about the couple, movement, movement of couple, movement to force ratio and movement of couple to movement to force ratio as well as their values in different types of group movements. At about two-fifth the length of the root from anterior crest lies the center of resistance. It is the point where if you apply the force, there would be bodily movement of the tooth. And if force is applied at any other point than the center of resistance, the tooth will rotate around the center of rotation. And this is known as movement of force. This movement is calculated by the amount of force applied multiplied by the distance between the point of force application and center of resistance of the tooth. Here if 100 gram of force is applied at 10 millimeter from the center of resistance, the movement will be 1000 gram millimeter. Now, when two equal and opposite parallel forces that are not along the same line are applied on the tooth, they are called couple. Clinically, this can be done by placing a twist in a rectangular wire such that it produces opposite forces. That is, here you can see for example, it will produce intrusive forces on the buccal aspect and extrusive forces on the lingual aspect of the bracket. This will give us lingual root torque. And this is known as moment of couple. Now there are two ratios that you need to remember. One is moment to force ratio and second is moment of couple to moment of force ratio. Let's see this by example. If you place the wire in bracket in such a way that the force being applied in this bracket is 100 grams at 10 millimeter from center of resistance, the moment of force that is generated will result in 1000 gram millimeter clockwise tipping moment. In the same scenario, if couple is introduced, let's say it will produce counterclockwise movement of 600 gram millimeter. This will be known as moment of couple. For this scenario, moment to force ratio is calculated by the ratio of moment of couple divided by force being applied. That would be 600 divided by 100, that is 6 is to 1. And ratio of moment of couple and moment of force would be 600 divided by 1000, that is 0.6. Now let's see different types of the tooth movements where we are applying 100 gram of force at 10 mm distance from the center of resistance. If you are applying just a single force to the crown, the crown will move in the direction of the force and the root will move in the direction opposite to the force. Here the center of rotation will be just apical to the center of resistance and this type of movement is called as uncontrolled or pure tipping. Here the movement of force is 1000 gram millimeter and as there is no couple being generated, the movement of couple is zero. Hence, for uncontrolled tipping, the moment to force ratio will be zero and moment of couple to moment of force ratio will also be zero. Now, if we introduce counterclockwise movement of couple of around 600 gram millimeter in the opposite direction to the moment of force, although it cannot oppose the tipping moment fully, but it is sufficient enough to decrease the amount of tipping by moving the center of rotation to the apex of the root. This type of movement is known as controlled tipping. Here, the movement of force is 1000 gram millimeter and movement of couple is 600 gram millimeter. So, movement to force ratio here would be 6 is to 1 and movement of couple to movement of force ratio will be 0.6. So, we can say that for controlled tipping, movement of couple to movement of force ratio would be more than 0 but less than 1. This kind of movement may be indicated when we want to retract excessively proclined maxillary incisors. If we introduce the counterclockwise movement of couple of 1000 gram millimeter that is exactly equal to the movement of force, this would cancel out the taping movement and the tooth would translate back bodily that is it will have bodily movement without any tipping. In this scenario, the center of rotation is at infinity. Here, moment of force is 1000 gram millimeter and moment of couple is also 1000 gram millimeter. Hence, the moment to force ratio would be 10 is to 1 and moment of couple to moment of force ratio would be 1. This kind of movement is required when retracting a canine into the extraction site. This question was asked in previous year exam where we needed to answer required counter force for generating bodily movement. So, if 1000 gram millimeter of moment of force is applied, so to produce bodily movement, we will need to apply exactly same amount of movement that is 1000 gram millimeter of movement in counterclockwise direction. Now, if the counterclockwise movement of couple 
exceeds the moment of force. Let's say here the moment of couple is 1200 gram millimeter. The center of rotation will move to the crown. First, it will move to the incisal edge and any further increase in the moment to the force ratio will move it to the bracket. And because the counterclockwise moment is stronger, it will lead to the apex of the root moving back in the direction of the applied force and the crown may actually move forward in the opposite direction to the root. This type of moment is known as root torque. Here, the moment of force is 1000 gram millimeter, moment of couple is 1200 gram millimeter. So, the moment to force ratio would be 12 is to 1 and moment of couple to moment of force ratio would be 1.2. So, we can say for the root torque, moment of couple and moment of force ratio would be more than 1. This type of movement is often utilized in maxillary central incisors when they are retroclined and we need to procline them. Remember this, it can be asked in your exam. To summarize this, you can be asked the location of the center of rotation, moment of couple to moment of force ratio and indication for the different type of movements that we have just discussed. For uncontrolled tipping, center of rotation is just apical to the center of resistance, moment of couple to moment of force ratio is zero. And this type of movement is considered undesired. For control tipping, center of rotation is at the root apex. Moment of couple to moment of force ratio is more than zero but less than one. And this type of movement is indicated when retracting excessively proclined maxillary incisors. For bodily movement, center of rotation is at infinity. And moment of couple to moment of force ratio is one. This type of movement is required when retracting canine into extraction site. And for root torque, center of rotation is at the incisal edge or on the bracket. Here the moment of couple to moment of force ratio is more than one and this type of movement is required when you want to procline the retrocline incisor.